Hey everyone, and uh, welcome to our update coming into MLK weekend. We've uh, we've had a little bit of a snow drought, but we've been enjoying what we've got up on the mountain. It's certainly a ski it if you can mentality, and uh, while our rental shop and tune shop has been busy, uh, it's been super fun to be up on the hill. So uh, the drought appears to be coming to an end. We've got an exciting weekend coming up. We're going to have snow mix, maybe some of the R word. We're going to have wind. We're going to have lift openings, hopefully, and we're going to have a great time. So. A couple of key things to think about here is A, be flexible. We're gonna be flexible. We're gonna open as much terrain as we can, as many lifts as we can, um, and ski it if we can, regardless of what falls and then how it falls. So as of right now, we are definitely planning on the Sunnyside Double, the Birdland Chair Lift and Lift 4 to be open this weekend. We're bringing in staff for the single, but we're gonna need some snow for that. As you know, it's been closed for uh, this week because it's uh, just super, super thin up there. Um, I think we've definitely pushed the limits on what's openable anytime, but the single just reached a point it couldn't be. That being said, we got reports anywhere from four to, you know, you name it, 10, 12 over the next uh, 48 hours or so. Uh, it's definitely going to come in wet, uh, hopefully lock up and get some lake effect on the backside of that. So along those lines, we are also going to close the mountain to uphill travel and skinning at midnight tonight. We want the snow to sit. We want it to settle. We want it to cool off and, uh, and adjust there. We've, uh, on the single side, we're gonna you know, play it by year. We might get creative and maybe even run people up to mid and let them ski down and keep the top closed for a bit. But we'll see what's going on. We do have the wind to, to deal with as well, which might affect uh, lift operations up on the single over the weekend. But otherwise, the grooming crew is gonna be out laying down whatever they can. Uh, we're gonna get up on lift four and buff that out as usual. Uh, should be a really fun weekend of skiing and uh, we're really looking forward to it. So come on up and uh, ski it if you can, and let's go take a look at some other stuff. All right, and welcome to the new Snack Shack. It's an amazing facility we just got opened up and fully done here, so the windows are now in. As you can see, we've got our menu board up. Uh, this is a great place to come and grab coffee, uh, Egg McMads in the morning, uh, raspberry bars to keep your day going all day, and we'll have lunch in here as well. So everything is prepped over in the, in the base box and brought out here. Um, they got some great tasty pizza, burgers, hot dogs. We're trying out fries. We really need those base box fries somewhere. So this is going to be the spot. Chilies, chips, all that fun stuff, and uh, as well as beverages. So come on out. You can grab it here, take it to your car. If there's room inside, take it inside. But we're really excited to have the Snack Shack. It's a, uh, it's a great facility for us this winter and, uh, and really cool to see. It fits in really well with the base area. And uh, you know, just some other things to uh, think about as you're coming up this weekend, as I mentioned. We will be closing uphill travel, so please abide by that so we can uh, make sure that, uh, that we get that snow to stick. Another thing I just want to remind people that while I enjoy watching people fall on the boardwalk trying to ski across from my office, we're asking people not to ski across the boardwalk this winter. I think a lot of people are going back to their cars. It's faster. But for people coming out of the general store or the tune shop, it's not fun to run into somebody trying to ski across the boardwalk. So please don't do that. Um, Otherwise, I wanted to just uh, show everybody the deck and what's been going on over here. So we've got some heaters set up now. We'll be turning on as it gets colder. We really haven't had some super cold days yet. And uh, we got some picnic benches over here underneath the tent. And, um, and another you know, really cool thing I just wanted to draw everybody's attention to because it just came up, uh, just got up the other day. But we've got uh, the brand new Preserve Our Paradise campaign. Uh, uh, donor plaques. So anybody, if you've uh, given more than $1,000 to the Preserve Our Paradise campaign, which has enabled all of this to happen in the base box, the patrol building, all the improvements up on the hill, um, you'll find your name on here. So come take a look. We're really looking forward to a time where we can get together and celebrate this and really dedicate it. But we have it up for now. And uh, come at, at your free will. Keep your distance from people and, uh, and, and take a look. And uh, finally, just looking out past this weekend, uh, we're just talking about knobs, guys. We're going to get out for another shot of snowmaking on S-turns, believe it or not, which has been a long time since we've used that pipe uh, early next week. And, uh, and that should be it for snowmaking. But we've got the hill covered. What we've done is we've gone up as far as we can in the system to enable us. This is going to be a very, very elevation-dependent storm. So I think our snowmaking up to the Bunny area and, and uh, Kays Grove above Birdland is really going to help us get off the mountain. Um, it's setting us up really well. It's really great to see all this really cool stuff come together after all these years. Let's hope for snow. We look forward to seeing you soon. And uh, until then, get out there and ski it if you can.